When I ended up at Five Acres, I thought that was the end of the line. Everything I had done had landed me there. So my expectations were not very high. Nobody really understands what it's like to be a child who's lost their family. Perhaps we've lost a loved one in our life, but to a child that's ended up in a situation where they need to be adopted or long-term foster care for, they've lost their entire world. We adopted Shane at nine and a half years old. And as Shane says, do you remember that time when you bought me? He always says, bought me instead of adopted. When I met the Hammonds, they were a joy in my life but I surely didn't think that I was worthy of receiving them. The struggles that I faced wasn't just coming into a new family, it was being plopped into a whole new environment. They had a program which involved taking out children from five acres and go on a tour somewhere. After it was over, I said to my daughter, you know what I'm thinking? She said, yes, I do. You know, really what excited me about the Hammonds was to see a house with everything intact. I don't think we knew just how deep, you know, some of the problems were. What Bob said was, if we turn him back, he will never have a home. And he needs a home, why not us? That's a process. So the adoptive parents have to show up with that faith from day one. You gotta live through it. And that means a child's gotta have somebody they believe in and they can come to have faith in. And that's the message that a parent has to give over to a child. You are important. It's an amazing thing we went through a few years back. It was decided by my wife and I that if we ever do have kids, we should really consider adopting. I just want to be able to give that back. And I decided to inquire with Five Acres about doing it through their program. And I'm scared because I know my biggest nightmare is that I adopt me. <laughs> But my biggest, you know, hope is that I can I can do what my parents did and just and just love and support and reinforce with love at the end of the day, you know, that no matter what, I love this child. And what do you think about your parents now? I, I yeah, that's uh it's it's the the tender place in my heart.